Oh man, this leather armor. I'm so tired of wearing this. Let's do something different today. Let's take that off. Chainmail? Nah, that's no good. Gold? Nah, that's no good. Ah, diamond. There we go. Alright, well, let's put this uh, leather up. That way we don't lose it. Very cool. Alright, off to do some mining. Hello everybody, my name is Ike and this is my tutorial for my automated closet. And guys, before we get into the tutorial, I want to remind you guys I do try to make my tutorials at a pace where everyone can understand. So if the video seems a little bit slow for you, you can always go down to that gear icon on the, on the video player there and change the speed to your preference. Anyways guys, let's get into that tutorial, I hope you enjoy. For this first step of the tutorial, we are going to start with a honey block at our floor level. And then we're going to place a temporary block below it. And then on the temporary block, we're going to place two droppers facing up. We can go ahead and remove the temporary block that we placed. Replace it with a hopper facing into that bottom dropper. Then we're going to place two dispensers facing towards us like this. Two more temporary blocks on top of the dispensers and a third dispenser facing down like that you go ahead and remove the temporary blocks and then we're going to place glazed terracotta on either side of the honey and double check the step is correct and we'll move on to the next one okay for step number two we're just going to place a few hoppers we're going to take one and place it directly on the top dispenser there one out of it the left one into it and then one two just like that so it should look like this and I'm going to place one into that dispenser from the right side facing it and then one out just like that that should be that step complete double check that it looks correct what you did to what I did and we'll move on to the next one okay step number three so the first thing that we should do is place a lamp here now this could actually be any block you like but i like the lamp because it indicates that the button's been pressed there place a button on it and then we're going to come on to this side we're actually going to place a block there and there we're going to remove this one in the middle and then we're going to come out here we're going to place a observer off the corner of this block so that the face is facing out we're going to place another observer out of this dispenser here with a block on top of that a redstone dust on each of these two blocks now these blocks can be any block you want them to be block of choice basically underneath the blocks with the redstone on them we're gonna place two sticky pistons just like so and then also these can be any block that you like but I like to go with a lighting block so I use sea lanterns so when I press the button it should extend those pistons retract them but also what will happen is we should have arrows in here. An arrow should fire just like so. so. That's what that step should be like. Double check that everything's working properly, like I've said every time. And yeah, we'll move on to the next one. All right, for this step, we're gonna place a block here and we're gonna place a second block. We can place an comparator and that will read this hopper. We're gonna place a repeater on four ticks out of the comparator. And then on the repeater there, we're gonna place a block diagonally with a sticky piston on that. And then what we'll need to do is actually place a temporary block with an observer right there. And then we can remove both of them. And then what's gonna happen is, is this line here is where our armor comes in. And when our armor comes in like so, that will read it and shoot it out. So I don't know if I mentioned, but this is the armor line and this is how we fill our arrows into the system on this side. Okay, Okay. so now we need to do the redstone at the bottom here. So we're gonna come to this bottom dropper. We're gonna place one, two, three, and then up one there. We're gonna remove that one and that one. And place a comparator facing that block, dust on the block, and then an observer the observers facing the dust here. What that does is if we drop a, 
If we drop an armor stand on there, it should place it. The problem is, is if we drop any other item, the dispenser will also place that as well. So we need to create a filter here for non-stackable items. And so what we're gonna do is actually place two temp blocks right there with hoppers into those. And then we're gonna place a block here to read this hopper. The comparator out of it, we need an immovable block or a glazed terracotta. And from this hopper, we're gonna place a block, a block, and then temporary block there with this block on the side. Place three dust there. We're gonna place a, looking at that dust, we're gonna place a block, and then we're gonna to need to add a redstone torch to complete the filter. So now if we drop a armor or a piece of armor in there, it should just fall out to the bottom, just like that. All right, well, that's all good. Let's test this out now. Armor's on there. Shoot it, it'll fall in. Armor should be here at the bottom, empty armor stand. So we're getting there. Let's move on to the next step. So now what we're gonna do is create the facade. And I'm gonna use barrels for this, but what you really need is a block that will not stick to honey or slime or any other block. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use barrels because they have a nice texture and I'm just gonna surround the armor stand like it's a doorway. I'm gonna place some glass inside. And using the bottom of these barrels we get this really nice texture here. So now we can create the floor. This is gonna be your floor level and you're gonna decide where it is you're gonna stand to be equipped with the armor. So this is a good distance away, so this will probably become a dispenser there. So you can go ahead and remove that. All right, so now that we know where the armor is going to be equipped on you at, we're going to drop this down a few blocks, and we're going to run a hopper line into that block there. So this is going to be where our dropper dispenser line is. Remove those blocks again, grab a dispenser, grab some droppers, and we're going to place dropper, 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 dispenser just like that. Then we're going to come out the bottom with a temporary block. We're going to need a comparator just like so. We're going to place a comparator and then we're going to place a 3x3 three three platform like this with a block there and then we need a repeater. Repeater out of there, repeater into there and then we're going to place dust on all of these with a right clicking the comparator to put it on subtraction mode and then we're going to place torch block move this one place the torch there and it's going to eject that armor so i'm going to wrap this around and what you're going to do here is you're going to cover this with a carpet or i would say carpet's your best bet so i'm going to go with light blue and gray so put light blue there to indicate where you're going to stand around that in gray and I think that looks pretty nice and then hit that let's go ahead and test this out let's put some armor on it armor in there and then if we hit it and yeah, fully armored okay so now what we need to do is create the piston feed tape that moves the armor stands around so that we have more than just this one we're going to come out here with some temporary blocks we're going to place our first piston right there so it should be in this gap where this glazed terracotta is we're going to come on this other side and our second piston should be right there uh, we're going to use some temporary blocks right now and we're going to come out to where there should be a gap right here, but we're gonna place a couple blocks temporary to place our next piston right there. And then we're gonna come on around here and let's just fill this in and that'll give us a good idea of what this tape's gonna look like. Temporary block again and another piston. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna break out all of these here. The only one that should have a block in it is right there. There's more work to do on the feed tape, but we're gonna go ahead and wire it up to function with a button here. And we're gonna use a note block as a button into a um, observer there. And the reason I like to use a note block is because you can right click the notebook block and you only get one output. If you were to use a button, you would get two. 
but this is also going to function as it with a button as well, and I will get to that in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and place a block on that observer. I'm going to place two out of here that way, and then come across from there, and then meet up with this piston with a block on it. We're going to place a repeater there, and then three dust there. And yes, that goes into that comparator, but it doesn't matter. So when we do this, uh, it should activate this piston here currently. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out of this one and we're going to run a line to this one. And we're going to just dust, 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 two, two repeaters on one tick, just like that. And then we're going to come out the back, just like so. We're going to do the same thing again. Two repeaters on standard tick, come out the back. Run it all the way down to meet up to there. And then two repeaters and two, three, the dust. And if we hit our note block here, we should see it all move around one time. Just like so. Now we're going to go ahead and hook this up with a button as well. And we're going to place a terracotta there because it might touch a, a honey block. And then we're going to come out like that and dust and from the dust we're going to have a comparator and a comparator and like this. So when we do this, we'll place a button there. Let's use a stone button actually. It'll output. When this shuts off, it'll output a second time. That way, every time you get it, it should actually end up with an armor stand. Or you can just right click and that'll be much faster. Okay, so now to the feed tape. So what we're gonna do is replace every other block and don't count this as a block. You need to count the actual blocks that are there. At some point in time, we're gonna to get to a spot where we have to leave two lace terracottas together, and that's gonna be this point right here. There's nothing you can do about that, just live with it. So you're gonna have one armor stand, two, <clears throat> three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven armor stands. And then you can rotate these and every second push you will get another armor stand that you can equip with the exception of that one that just happened so if you got any that are crooked you can just hit the button there and they will replace and that's that's pretty much it now all we need to do is the rest of the facade and you can do that how you like i am just going to use some uh some spruce logs I'm going to place some spruce logs up here and up this way. Of course, you can uh, extend your floor out a little bit. We're going to use some trap doors, some spruce trap doors over top of this. So actually, we're going to go to the top there. Just like so. I'm going to extend that and then one more time, and then I'll put some stairs up top. Just use some oak, because I think that'll look okay. Put some oak over the top. And what we can do then at this point is we can actually power these trap doors right here through these extended blocks here. So we can actually power them from the sides. And then that way when we press this button, they won't activate, but we can still open them. You could also do them by placing a block, <clears throat> a couple blocks out like this. You're gonna wanna put repeaters so that you don't lock these hoppers. One, two, three, four, and then place a line in like that that way nothing is here and you don't have to have anything there either and the same thing goes for this one it's it's a little bit excessive actually you could go right here with this one it's a little bit excessive but it helps you hide them and then that way these don't get activated at all 
All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. This is going to be hid in a wall, so you're going to actually come out again one more. So it doesn't matter. These are going to be hid in the back anyhow, so do, do what you wish there. It's just an option for you if you want to change up the design at all. But this is your uh, automatic closet. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as I'm falling off here, uh, let's go ahead and add some armor into the system. Armor. And let's place one more set of armor in. And the next time you want to find your uh, precious armor that you've been stashing away for a special occasion, just press that button, stand on the appropriate location, and get yourself covered with a new set of armor. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.